Welcome to Fight Club 24-7, my name's Johnny Rashman. Right, let's get straight into it. Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Terms have been agreed for a fight on December 3rd. Does it actually mean anything? Should we get our hopes up? Is the fight going to happen? The problem is, it's the boy who's cried wolf scenario with all this. We've heard it all before. Terms being agreed on social media means absolutely nothing. It doesn't mean anything, right? And the fact that it's being played out on social media doesn't fill me with confidence. But Anthony Joshua has been put in the WBC rankings as of this morning. Number six he's at. So that leads you to think there could be a bit of movement in there. You know, he's never been in there before. He's there now. So that gives you a bit of confidence. Terms have been agreed. AJ has accepted 60-40. I didn't think he would, but apparently he has, according to his management team. So the split has been agreed. Apparently 50-50 on a rematch, if it happens. And the uh, date has been agreed. So really, uh, it should be straightforward. It should be sorted out. But we know that's not the case because there is so much negotiations and so much things that have to happen right so much we all know how these guys deal with each other you've got the broadcasting situation is it going to be the zone bt will it be a split i know both teams have said they're open to it being on a split broadcast will that happen i don't know my honest opinion i did a video last week saying five reasons why it won't happen And my honest opinion is, I think this is just Eddie Hearn calling a bluff. Eddie Hearn saying, okay, we'll agree to this, we'll agree to that, we'll pull it out for the world to see, we'll we'll, we'll pull it out on social media, everyone can see we've agreed to this, and we've agreed to that. You said last week, Tyson, that that we've got a deadline, or you've got to accept this, well, we've accepted it. So I think it's a game of poker being played out. Do I think it's going to happen on December 3rd? No, I don't believe it will. I actually think they'll have a fight in the interim. Both fighters will fight different opponents and then set up a clash uh, midway next year. That's what I will think. Will ha- that's what I think will happen. But look, I might be wrong, and I hope to God I am because let's get it right. It's a massive fight. It's an absolute massive fight, and it's unbelievable to think that AJ, even though he loses, his next fight's making more money and a bigger. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen it before. I honestly don't think I've ever seen it where a fighter has lost, right, two times in a row, and the next fights are even bigger than the ones before. It's just unbelievable. The guy is a money-making machine, and look, they all love money. The fight make the fight makes financial sense. It always has done. You can't deny that. But it doesn't make sense for AJ for me. You'd want him to get a few more wins, get the confidence back, you know. But on the other hand, you strike while the iron's hot. You know, if this fight can happen, get it signed, sealed and delivered. So look, we're getting all the constant updates from uh, various media outlets. And yes, I post the updates, right? But I give my opinion on it. There's one notorious... Well, I don't know if he's a media outlet. He's just a person. And it's every two days. Contracts have been signed. This is that. This has been signed. They've agreed to this. They've agreed to that. We got it all for literally six months, two years ago. And now we're getting it again. I did say this in the video that every day we're going to get constant updates. Terms have been agreed. Contracts are being sent over. Um, We need a contract for the venue. We're waiting for funds to be allocated. Proof of funds. It's just all... The fact that it's being played out on social media again doesn't fill me with confidence. It doesn't because if it was generally going to, if if it was going to happen, right, if it was going to happen, it'd be agreed, it'd be announced, I'd go all quiet, right, and it'd be like, right, massive announcement incoming and they'd pull it out there. But the fact it's Anthony Joshua has agreed to all of Tyson Fury's demands from his management team, uh, I don't know. It just stinks of... Poker, right? Okay, we've agreed to it, Tyson. Ball's in your court now. You call me out, I've agreed. Let's see how it plays out. So, let's see how it plays out. I hope I hope it does happen. I really do. And um, I've given my opinion what I think will happen. I don't think the fight will happen. But let's see how it progresses. What do you all think, though? 
Do you think we will see this fight this year on December 3rd or any date this year? Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe.